Welcome to a lesson on the meaning of a variable in mathematics. A variable can be used to represent a changing value as well as a value that doesn't change or a placeholder. Let's look at these two meanings of a variable. Let's first look at the definition of a variable as a changing value. A variable is a letter that represents a number or value that may change within the context of a mathematical problem. As an example, the temperature inside an oven once it is turned on. The temperature changes until it reaches the set temperature and then changes again once the oven is turned off. So if we use a variable to represent the temperature in the oven, the variable represents a changing value because the temperature is changing. And now let's look at the definition of a variable as a placeholder. A variable is a letter that represents a number or value that will remain unchanged or constant based on the confines of the mathematical problem. As an example, the area of your mathematics classroom. For each specific classroom, the area will not change, so if a variable is used to represent this area, the variable is a placeholder. Typically, we use a single letter for a variable. Many times, we use a letter that makes sense to the meaning of the value, like t for time or w for width. Let's look at some examples. Here we're asked to determine if the description describes a changing value or placeholder. Then determine a possible variable. So we'll enter CV if the variable represents a changing value, and P if the variable is a placeholder, meaning a value that doesn't change. First we have the elevation of Mount Humphreys. If we use a variable to represent the elevation, because the elevation doesn't change, the variable would be a placeholder and therefore we enter P. For the variable, let's use E to represent the elevation. Next we have the water level of a pool as it is being filled. So as the pool is being filled, the water level rises and therefore changes. So if we use a variable to represent the water level, the variable represents a changing value. We enter CV. For a possible variable, we could use L or W to remind us it represents the water level, let's use W. Next we have the number of calories consumed throughout the day. Throughout the day as you eat food, the number of calories consumed increases. So if we use a variable for the number of calories consumed, because this value changes throughout the day, the variable would represent a changing value. And let's use the variable C to represent the calories consumed. Next, the monthly car payment with a fixed interest loan. So because we have a fixed interest loan, this means the car payment is always the same amount, and therefore if we use a variable for the car payment, it would be a placeholder. And let's use the variable P for payment. Next, the amount of gas consumed by your car as you drive. Well, the more you drive a car, the more gas it consumes and therefore the amount of gas consumed changes as you drive. As a variable, this would be a changing value. As a possible variable, we could use A for the amount of gas, or just G for gas. Let's use G. And then finally, we have the cost of a new textbook for a specific class from the bookstore at the beginning of the semester. So because of the cost of the book remains constant or doesn't change, if we use a variable for the cost, it would be a placeholder. As a possible variable, we could use C for cost, or T to remind us it's the cost of a textbook. Let's use C for cost. I hope you found this lesson helpful.